She's the best dancer in America. Your kid got third place. You're lying. I'm just going to try to beat Lily, hopefully. We actually have a tie. She's tired of dancing in Lily's shadow. Yolanda is my favorite person ever, but I still like Eliana. Two little ones, let's go. We are going to Riverside, California to attend Devotion to Dance. You're doing a solo. It's contemporary, but it has some tricks. I think we're going to call it Blue Moon. The story is that you're back, and you're here, and you're dancing like a teenager, all right? And you are doing a musical theater routine. Again, it does have tricks. And it's called TKO, or The Knockout. And they better be amazing. Lily, on the floor, let's go. But up, there you go. Push, fall, change, step, leap. I'm glad that Abby's back. Right now, my daughter has a solo, and that's more dancing she's done in one day than she did in the last three weeks of being here. And a flick, step, flick, step, turn, turn, turn. I'm super, super, super excited that Miss Abby is back because I love Miss Abby so much. And this week, my solo is called TKO, which stands for the knockout. Make it bigger, bigger. Bigger, bigger. Big. Right, that's, that's better. better. I feel like the pressure's really on Lily, like she's expecting her to go out there and win just like she expects Kalani to. Oh, come on. Yolanda, you are so jealous that Abby is banking on Lily beating your daughter. You know what? Daughter. No, I'm really happy with Ellie Solo. The fact that there's just these kids competing this week just intensifies the rivalry even more. Head up, chin up, don't look at the back. I need a cattle prod. Like, jolt you. Left leg higher on the straddle. Front foot! Get it up higher! I do miss the older girls, but this is awesome because I love having all the attention to ourselves because it definitely gives us a better chance of being cleaner and better with our dances and winning. Lily, you are doing Blue Moon. You're doing contemporary. The older girls aren't here, so I gave you one of their dances. Eliana, TKO, the knockout. You better knock those judges out. Those other kids need to realize I don't need them. They need me. Let's go. Let's do this. Next up, number 34, Blue Blue. At this particular competition, they take all the solos of every age, and whoever has the highest score wins this award. Everybody else goes home with nothing. One of them better win. So the overall high score for solos, duos, and trio goes to... Enter with 34, Blue Moon. Lily Solo Blue Moon was amazing. I'm just so proud of her. I feel like Abby gave her this massive challenge and she conquered it. That should prove to Abby that we can go on without the older girls and that there's a new Kalani in town. Eliana, the name of this dance, we're calling it Aria. It's a tad religious. Are you an angel? Are we in Italy at the Vatican? Last week, you got beat by contemporary. Now, you're doing the lyrical contemporary thing. 
Yes? So there's no excuses not to win. Let's go. Can, you, can we arch right here? Beautiful. And up, and just kind of a gesture of this. Let's listen to it. Reminds me of my mom. She's an ex nun and being in a convent. That explains so much, Eliana. I can't even tell you. This is so much for Eliana. I'm so excited that she does have a solo. I hear so much of Lily, 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 and I just don't hear it for Eliana. So I'm really, really hoping that this will be her week. I was listening to the music, and I, I feel like Ellie's song would have been Britain's, just because it sounds like the most mature, mature song. And Eliana always gets the best music. I think that she this does get great. good music, but not all the time. Okay, 90% of the time, time Eliana gets good music. So what are you trying? Are you trying to say? Are you? So are you? Trying Shut up! <laughs> you are so lost in what you are thinking that you're not even aware that somebody else is talking. Like I guarantee you, if you would take five seconds before you respond. You would say less dumb That's fine, you know? <laughs> you all, I won't say anything. You won the overall high score solo duet in trio last week. The pressure is on. Yes? All right, you are doing a piece called Wishing Well. Let's go. When you fall into your toe knee, get in the chin stand. We're gonna do it one more time. Get into the chin stand perch. The pressure's on Lily because last week she told her I'm giving you a 16-year-old dance, and she did it. She was successful, and now there's like no going back from that. This is going to be a really hard week for Lily. Her solo is cute, but it is very technical. I just hope that Lily can bring it again this week because now that all the other girls are gone, Lily is Abby's future. Together. Oh. She's probably going up against a 16-year-old whose dumb mother pulled her out of here, so she's going to want to win. Absolutely. Are you ready to run your dance? Abby last week said I have to dance like a 16-year-old, and I absolutely think that it's the exact opposite this week because my solo is like cutesy, but Eliana's solo was like, so I'm a little nervous because my soul is like <laughs> faces. I really need to win this time because I need to prove to Abby that I can be Eliana every time. Yeah, figure out what you don't My solo is called Aria, and it is so gorgeous. Even the music is like, Aria. So it is really, really pretty, except the music is a lot better than what I just sang. So I'm super excited, and I'm ready to kill it. Good. Uh, hey, come here. You go all over the country and you win all these awards, but then you come here and you get beat because you second guess yourself. You need to be confident in yourself when you step out there. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for Wishing Well. Kira, give me a break. Your daughter's not even dancing, but it's a really important week for Lily. At this point, Ellie has not been able to beat her this season, and she has to stay at the top. everything that she needed to nail. So in order for Eliana to come on top, she can't miss a move. Ladies and gentlemen, Aria. 
She's tired of honestly dancing in Lily's shadow, but I also need to make Christy shut up. She was saying negative things about Eliana at the bar, so this piece has to win. Today, I thought Eliana was exquisite. I really feel like she was the strongest soloist. So I'm really, really hoping that this will be her week. And I am super, super, super happy because this is the first time I've went to Lily. This week, we're going to the Fierce National Dance Competition in Fresno. I can't even believe I'm saying that. <laughs> the group piece this week is very near and dear to my heart, and it's called Q. This whole piece is about the transgender youth community and the struggles that they are in when they are transitioning. Why is a unisex bathroom so difficult? to understand that one needs. Minis and Macy, you guys will not be in the group piece. <gasps> so she's saying it's a very, she said it was a very serious matter? Yes or no? Is that what Lori, Miss Lori, Miss Lorian said? Please do come Okay, okay. Miss Gibson. Yes. Can I steal a moment of your time and please? Really quickly. So, I didn't leave my career of 25 years mm -hmm. for her not to be dancing. Mm -hmm. Now, this subject matter, I understand that you said was very serious. Does That's not, not mean... where I'm coming from. Okay, but That's I... That's not where I'm coming from. So, we have yeah. like 20 minutes. Can I break this up and can you... Wet. Can Your I please have you go back in there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Let like, me we have finish 20 doing minutes. what I'm doing. Oh, Thank you. Care. You wouldn't care. No, we have no. 20 minutes to work on the group for crying out loud. I did not give up my career. Don't so give she can dance, just not in this number. Obviously, Lorianne doesn't want her in it. Ellie, you know that this was really important for your friend. Do you need to let Miss Gibson know that you understand me? I don't. Eliana has a very close friend back home who is a gender nonconformist, and I feel that. Eliana is in a perfect place to be able to say, I can teach you a lesson. I don't feel right doing it. Okay. Okay, I try. I think you're gonna have regrets, and I think I think your friend is really gonna be disappointed. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Tell me what to say. Just say I'm really upset. This really meant a lot to me. And just say thank you so much for your time. Yes, you can. Whoa, no, 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 don't cry. Take a deep breath. Ooh. Okay, now tell me what you want to say. What's going on? Uh-huh. How much is the piece meant to me? So is Ellie in there pleading her case that she wants to dance and so she'll be put in now? She's not really pleading her case. This is very real for her. Ellie will be in the piece. I heard Ellie say to you, Mom, just tell me exactly what to say. You're lying. What are you talking about? You're insane. Did you or did you not hear your daughter say, just tell me what to say? No, That's this liar. is her real story. You're a liar. This is her real Lying story. Her teeth. Lorianne, this was not to get a dance. This was actually to bring closure in. I know you have to go, so thank you for coming, and I apologize for us. Oh, my God. You're a big liar. I am tired of being mocked. This is supposed to be a team. I feel like I'm all alone. I just want my child to dance. So you're over there by yourself. Those two are over there. And they completely shut you out because they're moms. What? They know how to exclude you. Mom? They're bullying you. Mom. You know, she has feelings. Mom, stop. 
I need to see your personality change. I need to see you scare those judges. Understood? Eliana, this is your first solo in a long time. The last time you performed a solo, you left a whole step out. The time before that, you did a solo, and you won. You beat everybody. We need to go back to that. Understood? Yeah. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome entry number 30, Am I enough? Lily's last chance to dance in front of Abby, dance on stage before going to nationals. It's nerve wracking, to say the least. She's got to be on point. She's got to be perfect. She's got to be larger than life. And I just have butterflies. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome entry number 31, I scream for ice cream. <laughs> Start with our top five solos. Eliana, Liliana, they're not getting another chance to compete before nationals. This is it. This is what I have to base nationals on. In fifth place, we actually have a tie between entry number 30, Am I Enough? and entry number 31, I Scream for Ice Cream. 
is absolutely unacceptable. I'm gonna work with you two back here. So you have to get it spatially, what's gonna happen? Go ahead. Behind, turn around, pas de shaw, sit back. And you're, and you're just like a font, like here. Boom. Pas de shaw. It's big. Big, right. Okay? Yes? I still don't understand why we have three rooms. Three rooms, but we're using 1,200 square feet of the 10,000 that you bitch about paying for. Ha! And ha! And turn. Step through. Yolanda's got to be cringing right now. Oh, I am, because right now she is spending 90% of her time going for details with Lily, so she's the golden child. I feel like you're, again, like a pity party. How is she not ahead? She got to dance twice that Lily has not gotten to dance, and then this week, when Lily gets a solo, so does Ellie. It's like, enough. Well, at least she's learning it. Ellie is not doing anything but just standing there, holding a cane. Honestly, at this point, I'm frustrated because it's not fair, it's not equal, and I need to figure out why Abby's doing this. She's going right. in, she's I going in. Oh, God. Can she go in the other room and practice this as opposed to just standing in the corner? Yolanda, I'm working. I told her last night to assert herself and to come to you to ask you a question and say, hey, can I do this? Did I not tell you that last night? Yes or no? Answer, yes or no? You did, but I thought it would be You can't just pretend that you think it's going to be rude. And would you please tell Miss Abby, what is the quote from my father that I've told you about the baby? If the baby doesn't cry for the milk, it doesn't get lost. That's right. OK, so can you ask right now? Because otherwise, you're just wasting your time, and we're going to a huge competition tomorrow. Can I please work on Yeah, we're going to we're here next. It's showtime, folks. Come on in. Let's go. Come on. My mom just needs to be quiet, because honestly, it helps me not dance the best I could. And it's just hard for me, because I'm always the one that gets picked on. I don't ever get any compliments, and it's like, I'm like the worst dancer on the team. I mean, I don't know, but I feel defeated. All right, um, Eliana, let's go. Any nine-year-old that is treated the way that Eliana is treated is never going to dance to their full potential. Because I don't think any nine-year-old could take that kind of criticism and constant berating from her teacher and her mother without it showing every time she dances. But she really needs to get it together because she's not going to be here very much longer if she doesn't. Today, we're at Fierce Dance Competition in Phoenix, Arizona. We're always given a run for our money in Phoenix. Kids have to be focused on their game, and there's a perfectly crazy grown woman running around like a fool. Ah, uh, she's passing the torch to you, Eliana. She's passing the torch. My mom confuses me every day. She's just a little funny, I guess, and a little Sometimes, just sometimes, not every day. So you took the time and got your costume. Why doesn't this have an elastic band on it? Mine didn't have an elastic band either. The difference is you're not competing today, so your costume is not as important as your daughter's. Hello. Good morning. How'd you enjoy the pre-show performance? I thought it was a bit bizarre, the whole thing. You did Charlie Chaplin really well. That's a compliment. Here, here. But now, you took away from what the kid's going to do. She was stressed out this week, and I just said, you know what? It's all about sometimes just getting out of your comfort zone and just having a little bit of fun. But moms, have you ever seen any other mom dress up like their kid's solo and do a solo in front of how many people? Are there kids in here? Here they are. 
deep breaths. You gotta take deep breaths. I have so afraid of the hat falling out. Okay. So you're gonna practice with the hat, and then you articulate what your concern is. Okay. Go ahead. Go back. Careful. Turn that leg out. Where are you leaping now? See, you have the hat on, and you can't see what you're doing. Smile. Stop looking like that. She's gonna look like that on stage. It almost fell off. But Abby, right now, we don't really have time to like sew anymore, whether it's my fault or not. She's the one that's going on stage. I just really feel like if I had like a twist size so she's confident. She's not putting anything on the top of that derby. It's a derby. But I, Charlie I, Chaplin wore gonna, a derby. I know, but. Show me 15 pictures consistently where he has a zip tie on the top of the hat. Well, Charlie Chaplin wasn't doing aerials as well, too. Screw you. She won't even dance if you open your mouth again. So what's the deal with Ellie's hat? Did she get it on okay? Is it secure? I don't know. Control yourself. Like, your kid is dancing on stage. I bet it's see a smile on your face from the beginning of the dance to the end of the dance. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome entry number 28, Charlie. I messed up, so I don't know what's gonna happen. But if I lose this week, I'm going to go in my room, lock the door, and eat fruit roll ups for the rest of my life. Eliana, the one thing that was missing was the big ta da step. I wanted another trick in there that you could do without your hands, and it was that step. And you just left it out. All right, uh, we need to get the group ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm really sorry to do the roll up. The stage was just really sticky. I thank you for it. And then he came up with this little story. It was a big part of the dance. She basically called your kid a liar. Did you see that? No, I didn't see it. I'm over here. I didn't see it. I would hear it. You're allowing this woman to treat your child horribly because you're scared of her. I am done. I am done with this mother, and I want to adopt this child because her mother just sits there and lets Abby rip on her. Our top five solos overall for today go to... This is like the first time that Ellie and Lily have solos going up against each other, and Eliana really wanted to show Abby that she could remember her piece, and she had a moment where that didn't go as planned. I just hope Eliana's gonna come out on top. In fifth place, we have... Entry number 28, Charlie. And our top solo of today goes to entry number 27, Dainty But Dangerous. <laughs> Which dance company are we with? Abby Lee Dance Company. Congratulations. Thank you so much. On the surface, I'm keeping it composed. On the inside, I am beside myself. I can't believe Lily has taken the whole thing, and I feel like it's some vindication. She has proven herself. She should be dancing with the older girls in the group dances. So this is the moment everyone's been waiting for. Who's getting picked to do a solo at Nationals? Lily, you will be doing a solo at Nationals. The name of your solo is Dear Lily, Love Daddy. Why do you hear the lyrics? They're good. The next solo is going to Eliana. Eliana, the name of your routine is Munich. I think that gives Lily an edge. 
to give her a special song with special meaning. Maybe internally. It's not like he's gonna stand on the stage and sing it. No, but it gives her like a lot of passion because she can really feel it because she can connect more. I hope so, yeah. It's very, very frustrating to me because it just seems like Abby is already putting Ellie on the back burner. There is a rivalry there, even though I feel like she's technically proficient. Eliana has been under Lily, and I just want her to be able to experience that win. She has her work cut out for her, for sure. Eliana, you are doing a piece about Munich. Have you ever seen the movie Sound of Music? Do a deer, come on. Oh, yes, you have, you have to have seen that. Well, anyway, that's kind of like the style that we're doing. Let's go from the top. Eliana is an incredible dancer, but she's been struggling a little bit this season. That cute little kid is beating her, and it hurts. Maddie did a piece called Leaving Berlin, and it was wonderful. So maybe if I give Eliana something that is more mature, I think it will give her the confidence she needs with her dancing. I hope that Eliana wins with this number. I really do. Yes. Nice, the end was good. She definitely doesn't have any story, any feeling, any meaning like Lily. It's called Munich just because it's called Munich. I've said a hundred times already that the judges aren't gonna know that it's Lily's dad singing the song. So Ellie can pretend that it's her dad singing the song. I don't know why you guys are bitching. Brynn and Kalani haven't even started their solos. <laughs> so. And you have two members on the team that should have a solo. I think we're all hiding the fact that this could potentially be the last time in this studio and in this group. So you, really? I'm really happy, but I want her to represent the ALDC well. You want her to represent herself well. I just want her to learn her freaking solo in more than it's five so hours. Fun. That's it, that's it. You have no compassion and empathy for anybody else but yourself. No, I put passion and empathy in things that actually matter and people that have put their blood, sweat, and tears into your ass sitting on a bed. I have compassion for other people. You don't care about other people. Guess what? I don't give a how anyone else feels who's been here for one year. It's time for our junior souls. Break a leg, You're not do literally. Yeah. You guys are gonna do Hey, little. think of how far you've come. Yeah, just have fun and go out there and do your best. For Fabuli Dance Company, please give it up for Eliana performing Munich. I'm feeling really nervous, actually, because I'm going head to head with Liliana. I'm just gonna try to go out there and do my very best and make sure my technique is on point and try to beat Lily, hopefully. <laughs> Yolanda, Ellie looked great. She's really good. She didn't look nervous either. She didn't. Oh, I've rehearsed. Got it, Lily. I am nervous for my solo because it's acro, and my dad wrote the song about me. Also, I am competing against Eliana, so I really, really, really want to win. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Dear Lily, love Daddy, it's Liliana from Abby Lee Dance Company.
job, you're doing great. That was amazing. Did you see anyone in the audience? Yeah. Was he happy? Yeah. You're happy? Super pleased, super pleased. Thank you. Okay, now we're down to our top two junior solos. They're separated by one tenth of a point. That's how close these two dancers are. One tenth. The second place score, give it up. From Munich, it's Eliana from Abby Lee Dance Company. Come on over. Hey. Congratulations. Oh, sorry. She can do all that acro too. Oh. My heart is literally breaking for her right now because this was really supposed to be hers. She deserved it. And I wanted her to just have that same moment that every other team member has gotten to have. And here it is, your junior solo grand champion. Dear Lily Love Daddy, it's Lily Anna from Abby Lee Dance Company. Yes, congratulations. These are the two minis that I chose to keep. I chose them for a reason. They are roughly the same age, and they take that rivalry and turn it into a positive for themselves. And if they keep doing that, I'm gonna end up with amazing dancers. Fourth place overall. Widows. Fourth place. Unacceptable. I thought these girls would wake up and realize that Brady's not there. You can't hide behind him anymore. Rise to the occasion. Clearly, that didn't happen. There were some issues. I saw mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake. Counting problems, timing issues. That is not an overall high score group. This is the first loss for the team. And this is the first week without Brady. Clearly, Brady leaving was not enough. So I am bringing in a new team member. What? Mm -hmm. Eliana. This kid will blend better with you guys as a group. She can be beat, right, Lily? I have about two whole seconds of happiness before Abby drops the bomb that Eliana and Yolanda are coming back to the team. Yolanda and I have an ugly past. You called me a bitch, hey. I called you three. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. Call the police. Seriously, call the police. Seriously, you're calling the police right now. Stay away from me. I'm not happy. So I don't understand. Why are you going to bring somebody in that's toxic to this group right now? Do you think that's beneficial to the rest of us? She choked out Stacey. Well, we'll have to make sure that doesn't happen then. I mean, it happened before. She's like psychotic. It's not just that she choked me, it's that she makes you insane. Like, she makes you crazy. I don't know if Eliana will be an asset to this dance team. She could make it or she can break it. But we're gonna work together and we're gonna be friends no matter what. Maybe Yolanda isn't my favorite person ever, but I still like Eliana. Is Eliana ready to go on stage? Or well, her costume's on, her makeup's done. I know, but it seems like you're still going over a lot of stuff. She's not on trial. Ellie's not no, on trial. No, she's on trial. It's supposed to be the judge and the, the accused. Oh, I know something we can judge. Stacy, come on up here. You are the plaintiff. Yolanda, come on. You're the defendant. I am going to put this strangling issue to rest once and for all. You have 30 seconds to plead your case. Do you need a Bible, Miss Abby? Do we need to swear in the Oh, my God, Ann, you have a Bible? Of course I have you a Bible. carry a Bible, Ann. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth? I do. I do. She can't. Go. I have never choked her. I pushed her back. Her daughter lied and said that I was screaming in her face. I just calmly talked to my daughter to say, please get your son Time. and let's go and leave. We have a witness. I did say that you yelled at me, but I'm not going to say that you calmly told me 
that so I and Lily, it's not okay to say, it's not okay to lie. Even if you are eight years old, even if you are eight years old, even if you are eight years old, you speak. Don't talk to my child. Don't talk to my child. I can do whatever I want to do. Get out of my face. No. All right, let's stop. You're not allowed to talk to her. This was supposed to bury the hatchet and put this behind us, and it was supposed to be fun. My courtroom is not going to be a place for this behavior. I'm holding them all in contempt. Liliana and Eliana are going head to head for the first time in two years, and that's a big deal because they are two of the best dancers that I've ever had on the ALDC Elite Competition team and two of the biggest rivals. All right, I'm starting with Lily. These girls have pushed each other to be better, and now I'm pushing both of them with JoJo solos. I want to see that JoJo star quality, and I have yet to see that. Lily, you're doing a straight jacket routine because it was one of JoJo's most memorable routines. Whatever JoJo did, you need to be 100 times better than she ever was on that stage. When JoJo did this number, she got to use her hands, but your arms will be restrained the entire time you're on stage. The whole time? Well, Abby did say she wants these dances, but on crack. This is like a dream role for me because I get to do a lot of acting. I mean, as you can see, my hands are tied. And this is a really good story, and I'm really excited to do a bunch of facial expressions. Oh, oh my god, she just rolled. It's dangerous. Like, she bobbles a little on something, which can happen at any time. She doesn't have arms to stabilize her. She falls, she can't even get up. And knowing that could happen is enough to psych you out and, and make it happen. It just has to go off without a hitch. Good, good work. All right, go. Eliana, you will be portraying the character Carrie with pig's blood all over you. All right, so you're gonna take that leg, switch, switch, and the knee goes back. All right, let's try it. Can I just mark it? No. She's the only kid that asked to mark it. Do you notice that? I'm actually really excited for my soul. I'm Carrie. I go to the house and I'm like, oh, because she's like throwing knives at me. But then I'm like, psych, no, you can't get me. <laughs> you doing a half or you doing one and a half? Get sloppy, just do a half. Ellie, I think you haven't been turning for ever. I don't know what you were doing, but you weren't turning. You're just doing turns in second, and there's a billion other turns that you should know, that you should have down pat by now. Doing a double and a double at your age and your ability level, it should be four and four. Not two and two. Liliana and Eliana are like rivals. Kids are going head to head. I think Abby wants a rematch. So Yolanda, are you excited about it? I am so pumped up. I can't even hide my excitement. I'm just going to say yeah. I'm totally getting that from you. I'm so tired of everybody talking about Lily. Yolanda can cry in the bathroom all day long about not liking the dance or whatever. But we all know the real reason. It's because Ellie used to be one of Abby's favorites, and now she's not. If Ellie doesn't come out on top, there's no excuse for why she came in second. Right. She's here, she's in rehearsal, and she has all of her limbs. I've invited JoJo to Pittsburgh because I want these kids to see what it takes to be a star. Who knows? Any one of them could be the next JoJo. So good to see you. I think Gia's crying. You crying? Why are you crying? I heard you all have some fun solos this week. Do you torture them with my solos? How's it going? Well, Stacey has just nonstop complained that she only has half a body, that she can only use her legs. Yesterday, Yolanda was super upset over the solo. She was crying. So do you guys complain about every, every solo day. you get, or just this week? Comments, Georgia? I think it looks really good. When the music escalates, you have to escalate with your body and your arms. This needs to be so big and so over-exaggerated. All right, you go breathe, Eliana. So I'm confused. So you left by choice or by not choice? By not choice. By not choice. But now you're, you're back. Stacy yeah. chased her okay. out. If I could chase people out, Yolanda, you wouldn't be here. Arms! Arms! Stop marking things and dance! Stop! 
tomorrow. Talk about painful. Can she get more rotations in if she starts from turned out passe all the way down to coupe out to compass? Sometimes you can get some more in and you can cheat it a little bit and start your arms a little bit out. Start here and you kind of slowly pull in, but fast, it, it's a little trick. Give me a good turn. And close your eyes. It's coming, it's coming. Dip your head back a little bit. Beautiful. That's good. I think we're good. All right. There is a lot at stake. We haven't competed in Pittsburgh in years. JoJo is here. You're doing JoJo solos. Be amazing. Carrie, it's obvious. Don't make it small. Make it bigger than life. Lily. You've escaped from a sane asylum. That's somebody dark and evil inside of you coming out. Do you understand that? You want to have good legs and feet. But for your future, you want to have it all. You want to be the full package. It's who is going to have that performance factor that's going to come out on top. that they didn't win. I should have been second or even first. So I'm a little scared because I'm just imagining what Miss Abby is going to say. Now, our first and our highest score with a score of 300 points. That's perfect score. Straight escape. Perfect 300 does not happen often. It's insane. What? I got first place. I got a perfect score, a 300. And it feels really good to be in that perfect score club. Feels pretty freaking cool. Lily, you were the first overall high score for the day and a perfect score of 300. And that's only been done since I started the junior elite competition team. It's been three times on the team. Three times on the team. So. Wow. I think this is one of the best solos that ever competed from the ALDC. But other than Lily, this week was a huge disappointment. Eliana, you were third. When you were on the team before, you were threatening kids that were 14 to 15 years old. You were a huge threat to them. OK, let's go ahead and stop perseverating in the past. And you know what? It would have been nice if you would have been invested in my daughter like you were invested in hers. Ooh. Walk, walk, now. Lily beat the crap out of your kid time and time and time again. And since then, she's gone downhill, and you know it. Really? 
You know what? If my, you're just mad you didn't win today. If my daughter that's that. had lied. You're just mad if you no, didn't win. If my you can't daughter, handle yeah, it. You just need to move on. You can't handle it. My Would kid's the best dancer in America. Your kid got third place. That's what your kid got.